Hey, what's up, my friends? It is Vasters, aka G Saves. This video is gonna be—it's gonna be different. It's—it's it's actually a voiceover because this—this you know recording that you're watching right now is actually pre-recorded, and um, I'm just commentating over it. And I just wanted to talk about stuff, I guess, just ramble a little bit. Um, and, and you and you get something to watch as well. Um, but this, I want to have a, an actual topic in mind uh, for this video as well. And uh, I'm not sure about you guys, because I know a lot of stuff about like hidden messages in games, or in movies, or anything like that. Um, I, I know a lot about that sort of stuff, and for an ordinary person, you won't notice this, guaranteed. But for someone that actually, you know, is truly, you know, with God, you know, you know, I, I get in the Word of God and stuff like that. There's a lot of details that you figure out. There's a lot of things that Jesus has taught me. Uh, himself this isn't no you know other person uh going to me and being like yo look at this this is wrong homie you see this look what they did no but it's god telling me you see that right there yeah yeah be aware of that sadly every single game that i can remember that i played um has something like that has a hidden subliminal message um it, it's it's sad you know there's a lot of movies out there uh cartoons video games um, and none of them, or, or, or very few out there, truly give God glory. The rest are cursing, or you know, doing porn, this and that. Like right here, here's a major example. Um, right here, I actually, find a little thing. It's like a little picture thing, and it shows an alien UFO uh, thingy, and it says, "I want to believe," and uh, that's pretty much what it says. And there, there's, it, it's not just like what you think, like, oh, it's just a flying, you know, spaceship, and then that's it. There's, there's some hidden messages in there. Um, and right there, I'm actually pointing at something else. Uh, if you look at uh, the medic, uh, the letter U in Uber is actually the number 666. Uh, you guys probably had no idea about this. And I know it's crazy that I'm letting you guys know about this. You know, it's, I, I know it sounds crazy, but I rather would let you guys know about this because I see this stuff, like, so often. Um, and it's sad, but if you don't know what that little U with the little two dots above it is, you might think it's a smiley face, but in reality, click Alt, then 666. Make sure you hold Alt down, then click 666, and then let go, and it's going to show that U with the two dots above it. That's what that is, and they know for sure that's what that is, the, the people that made this game. Um, but then again, I don't know if it's every single person working there. I don't know, because I have experience with this, like uh, another company, which is Arcane Legends. Um, that company right there, well, it's not, that, that was the game. The actual company that actually ran ran Arcane Legends were actually Space Time Studios uh, at the time. And, you know, I had people in that staff that actually agreed and actually, you know, pretty much like, I guess you would say, give me a fist bump, you know, like, that's cool, man. Uh, when I actually was a... Uh, Pretty much because the guild name I was using was Jesus Saves. I had things that were giving God Almighty glory. And some of the staff members really enjoyed that and really liked it. Uh, but other staff members were against it. To the point that the guild uh, was force changed. Uh, the name was force changed without my, you know, like, I guess, like, I, I didn't have any voice in that. They just force changed it or something else. They deleted someone else's guild as far as I'm aware. To, to force change the name to that specific name it changed from Jesus saves to saves and um, it's just it's a it's really it's not that's not the only thing that happened there's more things that happen with that company as well uh, but that's what I mean like you can't put the blame on everybody just because of one person so I don't really know who fully runs this game to the maximum because I know there's some people that you know make some you know the animation someone else does the music so on and so forth so yeah, I can't blame everybody for that but I do know there's at least one person in this company that knows what they're doing and uh, uh, maybe not fully because it's really really uh, it's stupid it's it's very stupid like if you know because there's a if you truly focus and look at stuff I, I'm gonna name some other stuff and I know this is a lot of information right here because usually you guys see me you know just 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 smiling just cheering but this right here is a serious talk right here and uh, I know some of you guys are going to be like, oh, this is crazy. That's normal. That happens to me like every day. Um, but, you know, that's, I, I got to deal with it. You know, there's a lot of mockers that go my way, but Jesus has done a bunch of things in my life and I can't ignore that. You know, he set me free from sleep paralysis. I had a demon right next to me choking me and clawing me. 
you can look that up. I'm not the only one that deals with that or dealt with that. Um, so yeah, I don't deal with that anymore. Um, other things, you know, God set me free from like like regular stuff like bullying, like in physical bullying and stuff like that. God set me free from that. Uh, illnesses, God healed me from it without any medicine being required. There's just so many things that Jesus has done. I could care less what other people think about that. You know, some someone you know you know every single day almost I get a threat on YouTube. Um, pretty much telling me, yo, you better stop what you're doing, um, or or else something's gonna happen and stuff like that. You know, I get, I, I get, I seriously get threats. I get mocks. I get cursed at, and so on and so forth. Why? I'm not cursing at people. I'm not hating on people. I'm just letting them know the truth. And so many people, it's not that they hate me. It's that they hate Jesus, um, for one reason or another. It might be from their past. Maybe something tragic happened. Um, you know, I know how that feels too. I know how that feels. You know, you're not alone on that. You know, my my road. If you guys were listening, you know, uh, time to time with the videos, my road isn't smooth. It's it's a very bumpy road that God has me on, and it's not easy. But right there at the end, the end, the finish line is beautiful and it's wonderful, and that's my target right there. Um, is to get to the finish line and. Um, so yeah, my, my life, you know, isn't like completely smooth ride, you know, I deal with a lot of persecutions and this and that, you know, um, so yeah, just be aware of that, you're not alone on that. Uh, but yeah, for this video, um, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up, you know, to be careful about this stuff and to pray as well, uh, you know, because you guys know that some games, you know, God just tells me to get out of there and I end up believing, you know, for one reason or another. And then if I don't want to leave, God legitly like gets me out. Like seriously, like the the Space Time Studio thing, He just gets me out of there. Um, and if you guys don't know, Arcane Legends was seriously one of my most popular series on this channel. You guys can look at the videos and stuff like that. They have thousands upon thousands of views, and they were they were up there, and it was so cool because I could give God glory in that, and God has done so much with that, and it was amazing. But you know, there's there's a time in a place, you know, it's a season and stuff like that. Um and God just told me, you know, to get out of those that that game right there. I don't know if it's gonna happen or this game or another game or this or that. I don't know. But I'll definitely be you know the thing when you notice this stuff, or even when you don't notice this, um this is important right here. Is one, make sure you're right with God, you know, Romans ten and ten, you know, surrender to God, live for God, he will take care of the rest. You know. But the thing about it is, you know, the truthful ones out there, the ones that are really born again in Christ. Pray for these people. Pray for the person I made this game. Pray for, you know, pray for these people. Pray for your family, your friends. Pray, you know, because yeah, let's say like if, uh, like even even to like straight up like like people that you will be like, I want to beat them up. I'm talking straight up like sorcerers. I'm talking witches. I'm talking this. I'm talking that. I'm talking murders. Pray for these people. I'm talking pray, you know, um. Pray, because when you think about it, in in the scriptures, there's someone that used to be called Saul. He used to kill actual truthful believers. He used to kill them, um, and he turned to Paul. He was a messenger of Christ afterwards. God used him in, in an amazing way. And I know I don't care how big you are, and you know, in sorcery, witchcraft, whatever it is, I know God can set you free from that if you just give him a chance. Um, and you know, I want you guys to start praying, you know, for these people and stuff like that, because. Sadly, like I mentioned, a lot of the games out there that I've been playing, if not all, I, I haven't encountered one game that gave God glory truthfully. And I would love if I can make a game myself. I can't. I don't know how. I don't have the, the advanced uh, knowledge in that sort of thing. Maybe in the future, God willing, I'll go to college or something like that to learn that. Or maybe I'll learn it on my own. You can learn that on your own as well. Um, I don't know. But, you know, it's really sad. I didn't find any truthful game out there. At least that, not yet. Uh, but the games that I did find, I make sure, you know, if I do play them, I play them, but I make sure I am who God has made me. You know, I don't change for other people just because they're going to like me a certain way. You know, I live the way God wants me to live. If God tells me to go, I'll go. You know, that's the thing about it. You know, we follow Jesus. And, yeah, pretty much this message is done. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, And right here is the whole video is going to end right here. Um, right about here, I believe it is. And uh, there we go. So yeah, the video's over right there. 
I just wanted to share this uh, information with you guys because there's a lot of corruption going on in the world today. Uh, pray, you know, get right with God, and you know, let's let's be, you know, let's be together, you know, let's be a family. But I'm gonna see you guys later, God willing. My name is Bastards, aka G Saves. I'm signing out. May Jesus Christ be with you guys, and God bless you guys. And I know this is this is a crazy message, but you know, stay vigilant, you know, keep your eyes open, you know, in truth, and let God guide you. I love you guys. May Jesus be with you.